Thank you to our sponsor, MiraclesManifestorHoodies.com. I truly love the quality, colors, and meaning behind these Zodiac Sign sweatshirts, as well as the mission and purpose of the brand, which is combining the power of positive thoughts and manifestation with the highest quality clothing, styles, and fashion to keep everyday inspiration, motivation, and the energy of optimism alive in you. So go ahead and make this sweatshirt your new lucky charm and use coupon code Nadia at checkout. Links are in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2022. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. It is going to be on the 14th of this month that we will have this month's full moon. This full moon will take place at the foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with home having to do with your family of origin, your parents in particular, where that applies. It has to do with your living situation. And in some cases, it can even be a connection to your ancestors that's indicated here. Well, this full moon is an interesting one. On the one hand, it is speaking in harmony with Saturn. Now, this energy I really love. And that is because Saturn is moving through a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life, including your work life. And so this energy can end up boosting you at home where it comes to home based businesses or working with homes that can be a space of stable progress. This energy of Saturn can also suggest a time of manifesting what you have put in the time and effort for already. So if you've been diligently working towards moving, this is where it can feel like it comes together. If it is that you have been hoping for good news related to your family of origin, your parents in particular, this is where good news related to stable progress can find you right now. However, we've got another energy playing out with this full moon, and that is a difficult alignment with Neptune. Neptune is in your opposite sign. And what this suggests is that whatever may be happening at home, it may feel as if a partner uh, is not necessarily on board. But this can also indicate that another person is creating confusion at the home as well. So again, this could be a partner, although I'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to the love portion of this video. This could be related to working from home in terms of the alliances you have with others there and how it may feel like there's a lack of clarity or maybe some mixed messaging at a time like this. It can also be a sense that um, maybe you've wanted to make changes on the home front, uh, wanted to move, but it feels like another person that you think is supposed to be working on your behalf really isn't. So these are some scenarios that can show up at this time. The thing to remember is that there is an energy of stability here, but it's that that is earned. The energy of this full moon is not one of wild games, but rather it is one of stable progress and feeling good about moving in a direction that you've earned your way towards. And in that sense, where it is that you've already put in the time, well, it is now that you may find yourself manifesting progress in a way that you can feel good about. Now, as we navigate further, it is going to be on the 29th that we will have this month's new moon. And this new moon takes place in a friendship part of your sky, having to do with social events as well, the friends in your life, uh, group endeavors. Now, new moons bring with them new opportunities or new chances to gather. Now, here's the thing with this new moon. It is going to be speaking in harmony with Uranus. And this can be an energy that is light. And this energy isn't as strong, meaning if you're an astrologer, you would understand that the orb isn't very tight. And so what that means is the alignment between this new moon and Uranus may not be very precise, and yet it is energy you can actively tap into to feel a sense of lightness and spontaneity 
especially as you interact with others. Also, perhaps when you're accepting social invitations as well, that energy of spontaneity can work as an asset. However, again, we've got this energy there that is not necessarily as easy at the same time. And that is Jupiter speaking with this new moon in a conversation of tension. Jupiter recently moved into a part of the sky for you that has to do with wealth and financial resources, but it also has to do with profound truth and profound change. And so here we have an interesting mix of energies. On the one hand, what this says is friends and money. That's where things can get tricky under a sky like this. That's where there could be tension. Also with this, how honest, how straightforward are you really going to be? And is it just being straightforward with your opinion? Or is it something more factual, especially with someone you consider a friend? How consequential uh, or how emotionally intense do interactions need to be with friends? Well, some of that may visit you at a time like this. A situation that starts out feeling quite light and quite easy could turn to deeper layers of emotion that maybe hadn't been anticipated. Now, what you do with any given moment is always up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances. There's a sense of some truth being revealed at this time. Now, that truth may be just the truth of what you really feel about another person, but it may feel more consequential in some way as well. And so again, it's going to be up to you to decide how to navigate this time. One thing is for sure, though, if you do attend social events, no matter how light they seem on the surface, they can end up being tremendously consequential at a time like this. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is in the middle of the month that we have got an incredibly important moment in the context of love. And that is Venus meeting the North Node, meeting Pallas Athena. Um, when Venus meets the North Node, I think of this as one of the most important days of the year in the context of love. Because whatever's happening in love, it's like it's faded in some way. It comes together as it needs to. And so there's not a whole lot you need to do. Developments take place. And when the North Node is activated, it's really a doorway from which new people, places, things, situations enter that represent karmic blessings. And of course, with Goddess of Love here, that certainly includes in matters of love. With Pallas Athena here, we've also got an element of wisdom in the mix as well. But here's the thing, Saturn is squaring this configuration, meaning that it isn't about getting carried away on a dream. That just isn't gonna happen right about now. Uh, whatever is transpiring in love, there's a measure of needing to be very honest with yourself about it. Given that this triple configuration is taking place in a part of the sky that is decidedly worldly, um, it has to do with how it is that love opens you to the world. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, well, chances are under this configuration, there could be an interaction with someone very different than you've known before. Perhaps they have a very different worldview, a different religious background or ethnic background. But in some way, they invite you to awaken your own wisdom. Now, everything's not perfect, I gotta say, especially with Saturn squaring. And yet the moment in and of itself uh, can represent tremendous insight that helps you to move forward from here. And that helps you to understand the direction in which you're going in the context of love. For those of you just starting to date somebody, what a remarkable time this can be as well. When just dating somebody, this can be one of those moments that truly shows you whether or not the two of you align in terms of your worldview and in terms of those things that may or may not be deal breakers to you. What are the differences? What are the similarities? Are the differences too much? These are some of the things that can rise to the surface at a time like this. The other way in which this energy can come together is how much do you feel like this person really matches some vision that you may have for your life? How much is it that they really match a spirit of adventure you're hoping to cultivate in love? Where it is that they do? Well, this can be where it feels like the pathway together accelerates and deepens in commitment. But where it is that they don't, 
this is a time when you're being very honest with yourself about whether or not that works for you. And for those of you in an established bond, what a remarkable time this is as well. If the two of you have had any contemplation, consideration, conversations around relocating to another country or to opposite ends of your country, opposite coasts of your country, for example, uh, this is where a lot of that conversation is going to come to the surface. And at the same time, there's a sense of understanding that the relationship itself may have a will of its own. For the overwhelming majority of Virgos out there, this is going to be a time of renewed adventure and enthusiasm for the pathway ahead together. For a small percentage of Virgos out there, if you know you're not in the right relationship for you, this is where you start to get an inkling about what other adventures might call you. What I love about this month for you, well, there's so much here. It's a powerful astrological moment. I am going to say I do love the energy, I have to say, of Venus and the North Node and Pallas Athena. Look, this could open up all kinds of gateways for you. It's not just about love, but really this is the world opening up for you in some way or perhaps opportunities to connect with more of the world. New philosophies may open up to you now that help you to make sense of the world as well. Whatever does find you, understand that this is a mix of love with Venus and wisdom with Pallas Athena and where it feels like it genuine aligns you with greater compassion, you're on the right track. Well, thank you so much for watching and a massive thank you to the sponsor for this month's videos, MiracleManifestorHoodies.com. I love working with Miracle Manifestor Hoodies. I have had them here before with the monthly horoscopes as sponsor. And of course, if you follow me on social media, you saw me rocking their sweatshirt all over the Andes Mountains as I climbed the mountains in Peru, in Ecuador. I felt my quads in brand new ways. <laughs> I had so much fun. And I'll tell you, there were a lot of moments when I couldn't believe I was climbing a mountain and I would look down and I'd be like, oh my God, Nadia, what are you doing? And I'd see Miracle Manifestor and it just gave me so much strength and enthusiasm and it just gave me just the boost that I needed. I've loved working with Miracle Manifestor hoodies and so I hope that you'll check their website out. The quality is absolutely incredible. I got so many compliments. If you use code Nadia at checkout, you get a discount as well. So check out MiracleManifestorHoodies.com. Link is in the description below. And thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring Choose Your Membership Rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there.